guys, it's your old pal Deluxe Chip, neighbor Hayton, here in smoky Lakewood, Colorado. If you haven't noticed, today I'm on something different. Let's just say, uh, I'm going to introduce you to an old friend. here today is something special this bike that I'm on right here this bike this 2008 Sportster this was my first Harley I sold this bike four years ago uh, to a guy who only rode it 23 miles since he bought it and how I came across this bike is kind of interesting, you see. Uh, back when I was recovering from my surgery in July, uh, one day I said to my wife, I, I have to get out of the house, like I'm going crazy here. Uh, just get me out in the mountains. Let's go for a drive. So we took off for a drive and uh, you know it was a good morning. I was kind of feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit woozy. Needed something to eat, so I suggested, "Hey, let's go out for lunch." And uh, as the world turns, uh, I knew this great little place up in Evergreen. Oh, I'll wait for this one. Oh yeah, hating these neighbors. <laughs> I used to live over in this neighborhood at one time. So anyhow, look, <laughs> boing! So anyhow, I know this great Mexican restaurant up in Evergreen. And it just so happens the guy who bought this bike from me, he's like the big dog daddy up there. And I was hoping I was gonna run into him because I haven't seen him since he bought the bike. Well, pretty much, you know, stopped, had our lunch. And I, I noticed him there. And uh, I had our waiter call him over. And I said to him, hey, do you remember me? And he looked, and I was like, Black Sportster. And it was like, oh yeah, yeah. I said, hey, how's the bike? Do you still have it? And uh, he said to me, um, I'm actually thinking about selling it. Uh, me being me, uh, call me, you know. And my wife, of course, being my wife, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> so, about uh, two days later, lo and behold, what do I see on Craigslist? I see the bike for sale. And at that time, you have to understand, you know, the doctors, they weren't quite sure what was going on with me, and their prognosis was pretty grim. And at that time, they were telling me, you gotta think happy thoughts. You gotta focus on the positives. Uh, because this could be bad. They were preparing me for the worst. They were preparing me for stage 4 cancer in my lymph glands. Well, what could be more positive than getting back your first Harley? Getting back the one that got away. The one you let go of that you really didn't want to let go of, but you did. So anyhow, I said to my wife, if it's the last thing I ever do, I'm bringing that bike home. That is my bike. I want it. There's no other way around it. So, she uh, she said, okay, you know, she let me do it. Uh, and so here it is. Uh, when I got it home, there were a couple additions to it that really weren't my style. I didn't think they fit the bike very well for my taste. So uh, I went and put it back to the way it was when I had it. Um, with the exception of one thing. 
uh, we had a little unfinished business. You know, it was time to uh, to make this thing really bark. So uh, I bought myself some Vance and Hines short shots uh, and put my Big City Thunder monster baffles in that I had in my uh, my Vance and Hines slip-ons. Well, it totally uh, totally opened up the bike. She's a, a whole different uh, whole different beast now. Uh, you can really ring it out. It sounds real good. It runs real good. Uh, I use the uh, the programmer uh, from DinoJet, uh, the DinoJet Power Vision, uh, because on the bike I have the uh, the Screaming Eagle uh, Stage One air cleaner. So I had to do a fuel map to get it to run right, and uh, super simple. I just love that. <laughs> so super simple to do. Basically plug it in, pick your tune, you know, bingo bango, all ready to rock and roll. Uh, one of these days coming up, I'll probably take it out. I'll do some fine tuning just to get the bike optimized. Really dial it in. Uh, but it runs really good right now. There really aren't any flat spots uh, in the throttle at all. It doesn't really fall on its face, which is good. Um, back when I had the slip-ons, when I went to the uh, stage one intake, the stage one air cleaner, uh, until I tuned it, it would definitely uh, would definitely bog. It would fall. Uh, so that's when I decided to get that uh, that Dino Jet Power Vision. And I couldn't recommend them uh, more highly. Uh, again, super simple. Uh, they already have some uh, some tunes that are pre-configured. So basically, you're selecting your bike, like what you have, uh, as far as modifications to that bike, and it's it's plug and play. So anyhow, give me a minute here, and. Uh, I'll go find a place to park and we'll do a quick walk around. All right guys, there it is. This is my 2008 Harley Davidson Sportster XL883L, which means uh, it's a low. I believe back in the day they used to refer to these as a hugger. The bike is vivid black, and when the dealership had it, they went and uh, did a little paint work to it, and they put on the, uh, the metallic orange uh, stripes. I think it breaks up the vivid black real nice. Smoked turn signal lenses on the rear only. The fronts are, uh, the fronts are gone. The bike has drag bars, and if you notice, there's no eyebrow over the headlight. Uh, that is a setup from a 48. Uh, the uh, the risers and bar clamps were off of a, off of a Harley 48. The factory mirrors were removed, and it has a Joker machine bar end uh, rear view mirror which you'd think uh, would be not enough, but it really, really is enough. Uh, Screaming Eagle Stage 1 uh, air cleaner setup. And of course, the Vance and Hines short shots, which I like to refer to as neighbor haters, uh, because my special trick up my sleeve, I went and took out the baffles and I put in Big City Thunder monster baffles. I don't know if the camera will catch them, but uh, basically it's a lollipop baffle. It creates back pressure, but uh, you still have all the rumble. Let me go ahead and switch camera mounts and uh, I'll fire this thing up for you so you can hear it. Be right back.
nutshell, that's my Sportster. My first Harley Davidson that I ever owned. The one that got away and the one that I got back. You'll be seeing this bike, uh, you'll be seeing this bike from time to time on my channel. Uh, as it goes through its, uh, as it goes through its changes and modifications. Future plans. I have, uh, I have some big plans for this little bike. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking about is uh, a 1275 big bore kit by Hammer Performance. If you don't know what they are, check them out. The numbers, the numbers are uh, really quite uh, amazing uh, for the price you pay. At any rate, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off uh, with a special message. Take some time. Take some time with your pets. Love on them. You know, have fun with them. Enjoy them. Alright guys, this is Deluxe Champ, and until next time, ride safe.